I'm Devon Franklin, and I'm produced by Faith. I started in the movie business about 10 years ago as an assistant, and over the past 10 years, I've worked my way up, and I'm currently vice president of production for Columbia Pictures. I've worked on such movies as Pursuit of Happiness, 21, Pink Panther 2, Hancock, Seven Pounds, Karate Kid, and the upcoming film, Jumping the Broom. I also preach, and now I am a first-time author. What I have discovered is that there is no more powerful force in the universe than our faith. And if we embrace it, it will actually lead us well beyond anything we could ever imagine. I believe I found the real secret to success, and I would love to share it with you. Owning your faith, not hiding it, not being ashamed of it, has been the thing that has allowed me to find success. There are too many people today who are giving up on themselves, giving up on their dreams, giving up on their faith. I wanted to put something in the world that would help people hold on a little bit longer, know that their faith will see them through, and ultimately provide a guide on how you can find legitimate and sustainable success that doesn't require compromising who you are and what you believe. When I thought about the movie business and I thought about the Academy Awards and the Oscars, it dawned on me that the absolute top prize that's given out is for Best Picture. And whoever produced the movie is who wins the trophy for Best Picture. And so I thought about my life, and at the end of my life, I would want it to say, produced by faith. It wasn't because we were smart, it wasn't because we were great, it was because of our faith that allowed us to find success and make an impact on the world. The book operates as a metaphor. You are the movie. Literally, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is develop and make films. And so the process from understanding what your idea is about, developing the script, budgeting the script, marketing the script, going into production, going into post-production, all aspects of movie making were a perfect correlation and parallel to the process God will go through to make our careers a success. So every chapter will teach you not only what the movie business is about, but will also give you insight to where you might be in life. I grew up in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm the middle child of three sons. And early on, when I was about nine years old, my father passed away. And during that period of time, movies became a way of therapy for me. My mom didn't have enough money to send us to counseling, and so going and watching films and going to church were the two things that really helped get me through and helped me kind of put in context this tragedy in my life. And what was interesting is that they also served, you know, in hindsight, as the foundation that I stand upon now. Um, going to church, you know, taught me structure, it taught me responsibility. Most of the worth ethic that I exhibit now and that I rely upon was because I was so involved at an early age and my faith is what saved me then and it's what keeps me alive today. In being in the movie business and working as a studio executive, you know, our currency is developing and overseeing the production of great stories. Stories that not just entertain, but also inspire. The thing that is interesting is that when you look at story development, every story, every great story, is all about the highs and lows. You always wonder, is our hero gonna make it out? Oh my goodness, are they gonna get out at this time? The conflict in the story is what makes the story good. Same with our life. Because we don't have the luxury of being able to look at our life uh, from a script point of view where we can turn the page and see what's going to happen next, sometimes we get so frustrated, we get so down because we think that it's over, not realizing that our life is the movie. And just like any movie, there's going to be highs and lows, but just know that in the next scene, we're going to win. So the idea that we tell stories, our life is a story. It's ever-evolving, it's ever-changing. We're meeting conflict, we're meeting new characters, new storylines are being written. Our job is to let our faith guide us from one scene to the next to the next. And I promise that if we do that, we will be successful and as successful as the heroes we root for on the screen.